Okay, Greg, how's it? Is it good? Mmm. What is this? <laughs> Hi, Star Seeds. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make scones. And these are so cute, but they are super sinful because guys, I'm telling you, they are absolutely delicious. So spongy and just so luscious on the inside. Um, so I'm really excited to show you guys how to make this recipe. And uh, I think we should just get into the kitchen. Oh yeah, we're already here. So I've got half a cup of beautiful vegan soy yogurt here. You can use the yogurt of your choice. And to this, I'm gonna combine a half cup of vegan milk. Again, I'm using soy milk. And what I'm gonna do is add in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And I'm gonna give this a nice little stir. You don't wanna use room temperature yogurt and milk. You wanna make sure that both your yogurt and milk is nice and cold. So now that it's all mixed together, we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna get out a nice clean bowl. So to a bowl, we're adding in three cups of all-purpose flour. This is organic. So next up, we're gonna be adding in a third cup of granulated sugar, four teaspoons of baking powder. By the way, I'm gonna leave um, in the description box below, I will have all of the measurements also in grams for those of you who prefer grams. So next we're gonna be adding in a pinch of salt. Lastly, I'm gonna be adding in a teaspoon of vanilla bean powder, yum. So all you have to do now is mix with a whisk until all your dry ingredients are nicely combined. Mm, smells like vanilla. So we've mixed up all our dry ingredients and now I've got this frozen or almost frozen piece of coconut oil. Uh, this is about half a cup. And what we're gonna do now is just cut it up as best you can. Just cut it up. So now that our coconut oil is chopped up into small chunks, we are gonna place it into the dry ingredients. So you gotta use your hands here. You're just going to mix the coconut oil with the dry with all the flour, and you're gonna squish the coconut oil between your fingers until you get a mixture that looks a little sandy. So you might find it difficult to squish the coconut oil between your fingers if your coconut oil is very frozen. But you know what? Your hands will warm up the oil after a while, so just be a little patient. And by the way, you don't want your coconut chunks to melt completely because we do want our coconut oil and milk and yogurt to be quite cold. So once your flour mixture looks kind of sandy like this, we are gonna go ahead and add in the milk and yogurt and vinegar mixture. So what you're gonna do is with a spoon, just mix it together until until it comes together as a wet dough. By the way, I did use a half a cup of milk plus a tablespoon. I forgot to tell you that before. So now we're just gonna get in there with our hands. You don't wanna over knead the dough because we are gonna be making some layers with our dough and we're gonna be rolling it out in a couple minutes. So just gently knead your dough just a little bit so it comes together. So I just placed the dough on a piece of parchment paper only because I don't wanna over flour it. And I'm just kneading it just a little. It might need a bit of flour. You can just go ahead and sprinkle some on just so that it's not too sticky. So I'm just going to flour my rolling pin and I'm going to basically roll it out and then I'm gonna fold it over on itself and then I'm going to turn it around, flour it a little bit under because it is getting a bit sticky and on top and then roll it out again. And what we're doing right now is we're creating layers so that you get a nice tall scone with beautiful layers. So I'm gonna repeat this process. I just folded it over on itself. 
I'm turning it around, just add a bit of flour so it doesn't stick. And then I'm rolling it out once again. I'm gonna repeat this about five times, so I'll see you guys in a minute. So this is the consistency of the dough. It's a lot smoother than it was before. We've created many layers. And also you'll notice that there are chunks of coconut oil inside the dough, don't worry about that. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're just going to cover it up with some parchment paper. And we are going to place this in the freezer just for 10 minutes. So our dough has been chilling in the freezer for 10 minutes and this is the consistency. It looks great. And what we're gonna do now is using our fingers, we're gonna gently press it down to about an inch thick. And what we're gonna do now is take a cookie cutter. I don't have a cookie cutter on hand, so I'm just gonna be using a simple glass that I've oiled and I'm just gonna cut out my scones like this. So you're just gonna press down the dough like so, cut out your scones and place them inside a baking tray that is lined with some parchment paper. With the extra scraps, you're going to just gather the dough once again and with your fingers, you're gonna press down making sure that the dough is an inch tall. And with your cookie cutter or your glass, you're just going to cut out the scones once again. So this recipe makes 15 scones. I just covered it with some plastic rock and I'm gonna place these in the freezer for 15 minutes before baking. So our scones have been chilling in the freezer for 15 minutes and now I'm going to dust them with some plain flour. Just going to generously dust them. And you can see that I've positioned the scones very close to each other. This will help them rise. So these are going in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. Okay, so our scones are out of the oven. I actually baked these for 20 minutes. It really depends on your oven. You could bake them anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes. I'd say 20 minutes is the sweet spot. So look how Beautiful, they have risen, gorgeous. And now I'm just gonna break one open, but before I do, I'm just gonna show you guys what I have here. I've just got some coconut cream here. I've got some raspberry jam. You can also add butter, whatever you like. So these are great for breakfast. So I'm just gonna open, oh my God, look how flaky and beautiful that is. Mm, and you can see the little specks of vanilla in there too. It just looks delicious. So now I'm just going to take my butter knife and uh, add on some coconut cream. Oh my Lord, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm just adding on a little bit more coconut cream because oh my God, I love coconut cream. And a little bit of raspberry jam. Oh my God, this just looks so good. <laughs> I'm gonna try it for you guys right now. Okay, it smells amazing. And I'm so proud of these little scones. They're super flaky and just kind of spongy on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna try these. Mm. Oh my God. Please try this recipe. It's really, really, really good. So soft and tender. Kind of crispy on the outside, just slightly, but super spongy and soft on the inside and the combination of raspberry and coconut cream. What can I say? What can I say? It's so nice. Okay, Greg, how's it? Is it good? Mmm. What is this? <laughs> Wait, I want to show what you're doing. Give me that coconut. Put all that coconut on. I'm going to put some more raspberry on this. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. I love it. Okay, guys. I hope you tried this recipe. It's super delicious. And I know there's a little bit of sugar in this recipe, and I don't usually make uh, desserts with sugar in them, but you know, it's okay. Sometimes you just make an exception and you try something a little bit different. Um, so I hope you guys try this recipe and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also smash that like button and um, I'll see you guys next time for the next recipe.